What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like my uh, Papa Smurf gnome hat? Uh, yeah, yesterday I posted a list of bags that I had. It was brought up on uh, Everyday Carry Forum and in my personal thread. I, I posted the amount of bags I have. I was doing it from memory. I did miss some that I found this morning. And the list is over 50 bags long. I'll, I'll have a link to, uh, to the page uh, in the description box. But it, it seems ridiculous that one human being would have this many bags. But like I said in my thread, you know, I've been doing it for a long time, you know, backpacking, outdoor stuff, EDCing and all that nonsense. And I have a family, so we do stuff outside together. And, you know, bags accumulate over time. And because it's the everyday carry form, let's just quickly see what I have in my pockets. It, uh, clone one is right there. He's uh, my assistant. Production assistant. Would you say you're a production assistant? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bag handler. Bag handler. Okay. Uh, I was just looking to see what that thing was doing. Whatever, whatever it for. All right, so uh, PM2, my Manneker A6. No multi-tool on me at the moment because I'm in the house. It's on my desk. If I left, I would take it probably, or maybe not. Uh, bandana in my right or my left rear pocket, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, there's some paracord in my uh, car. Okay, I have two uh, kitty carriers. One's from REI, which I can't find. Something attic somewhere. This one is a Kelty brand. It's got storage in the bottom. The kids uh, spent countless hours in these. That's true, right? When you were that's little, right. yes, you spent more time in the woods as a little baby than most people spend in a lifetime. This is going to be out of order compared to the list because it's just a big pile on the floor. This uh, this is a Lowell Alpine. Forget the name of it. It's a Contour Four. This is uh, this is sectioned hike. Lots of uh, parts of the Northern AT and countless uh, trips around where I live. This is just a big duffel bag right now. I think it's uh, it's filled with sleeping bags. Sleeping bags? Yeah. I like to keep the sleeping bags loose. Uh, this is a Mountain Smith. Does it have a name? I don't even know if it has a name. I don't know. It's some kind of Mountain Smith. Full size backpack. Probably has a name on here somewhere. Again, through hike. Not, yeah, not through hike, I should say. Section hike, parts of the Northern Appalachian Trail. Uh, before those two bags, I have. Uh, there's another one like this right here. I have two North Face large backpacking bags. You can tell by the colors. These are from the early 90s. Uh, these sections hiked most of the Southern Appalachian Trail. Uh, LA Police Gear bailout bag. I either got this for free or maybe like $10 on sale or something. Uh, Grey Ghost Gear removable operator pack in multicam. You guys have seen this before. If you watch the other video, this is a, a little Alpine uh, walkabout 35. It's basically my get home bag. This is, uh, I don't even know who made this. This is like old school, old school external frame from when I was a teenager. Again, uh, spent some time on the Appalachian Trail and in the uh, Northern New Jersey mountains, Pennsylvania, New York State, lower that section. But people around here call the tri-state area, but everybody <laughs> who lives near uh, two other states has a tri-state area. Uh, small Alice pack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Grey Ghost Gear, three-day legacy. Okay. Uh, this is a Rush 72, 511. This is just a duffel bag I got from work. It's, it's not branded. Uh, there's another one of these, right? Look for it. No. No. It's around here somewhere. Let's hold off of this. We'll run across it. Uh, this is a MAP 3500 in ocean gray, I think is the color. This is uh, your brother's, is it not? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
uh, performance bicycle branded fanny pack back in the day when I used to mountain bike before the advent of Camelback or shortly before Camelback started making packs that had storage I used to run an old school Camelback with a fanny pack and this fanny pack actually had a cross it would run over one's shoulder as well uh, Cannondale messenger bag Back before I was a fat middle-aged guy, I just had a bag avalanche. Before I was a fat middle-aged guy, I used to cycle all the time, work at a bicycle store, commute it to work. You know you're going to have to help me clean this up before your mother gets home. Ah, just a military travel bag. Diamondback, messenger bag. Uh, there's another one of these, see if you can find it. Where is it? Okay, this is a old school Volvo Cannondale. Team bag. Another one. I got two. I know when I write down that I have two of stuff, people think you're like, you know, lying to them. But there you go. Uh, this is an old school Camelback Scout. It's uh, designed for like little kids. Hydration, hydration bladder fits in here. Um, and it's got some storage. Okay, there's another one of these that's just the hydration bladder called the Skeeter. You guys wore this when you were little, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you'd go well, on death marches most. with your parents mostly. Okay. This is a small Kelty backpack again. I want to say the kids probably use this in grammar school, right? I think. Yeah, probably use it hiking too. Uh, another military double bag. Ugh. That's filled with like work clothes I don't wear. Another duffel bag from work. This is like a surplus uh, German military ruck, frameless. Let me see that. that? Uh, this is my wife's girls on the run little, little bag. I don't know why it's in with all the other bags. Uh, my wife's not here right now. She's uh, out and about on town. She has she's carrying a, um, her Timbuktu bag, messenger bag. Okay. Where was oh, this is uh, this is the other performance branded fanny pack. You know. You see that? Uh, this is a Diamondback. This is like a huge bag. This will take all your cycling gear. It's set up mainly for cycling. Spec Ops tactical messenger bag. This is like, ideally, this was, or not ideally, but this is the bag is designed with the opening here to be able to fight out of it. Is that the other one? Yeah. Two tra uh, Camelback Transalps. These have been used, you know, around here. They're, they're really too big for everyday cycling. They're more for like all day mountain biking. And, uh... Feels like there's stuff on this one still. Yeah. I didn't check. Yeah, this has got like pumps and there's a skeeter, I think. No, this is this is like an, an original insulated camelback. No storage. This is like the first, it would only take a 70 ounce bladder. This is like, you know, from the late eighties probably. Mule. Yeah, there should be. I'll wait on that. Let me see that one. This is a Camelback Mule. It's, uh, I think they make like a big mule now. It's more like a backpack. This is like a uh, VanQuest Envoy passenger bag. Yeah, what the hell you got in here, Bricks? Textbooks. Textbooks? Awesome. Uh, this is the Kids North Face Jester. That's Clone Ones. This is Clone Two's uh, North Face Jester. It goes to school. This is a, a Lowell Alpine uh, Copper Mountain 40. This is probably like the best day pack ever made. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, they don't they no longer make it, but uh, I know other guys on the forum own this. But uh, yeah, fantastic day pack. Man down, man down. This is from County Com. Kids do a lot of like, I, I think it's one, I want to say it's an EOD bag or something. I don't know, but it's mainly carrying my my paracord stuff for when I uh, for when I make stuff with paracord like a girl. Uh, 
Mobus, or not Mobus. This is uh, my Max Edition Jumbo. I have another uh, green one that's in my work truck. Let me see that. What is that? This is uh, my wife's Patagonia black hole bag. It expands really huge. Another mule. Yeah. Okay, you know, two mules. Okay, camelback mules. These are even smaller than that black one. Uh, this is my wife's Osprey Mira. I think I might have said it was a Kira. It's a Mira. I don't know. I don't know the names of all this crap. Can't keep it straight. Um, this is an Alpha One Niner Evade Pack. This is just another big duffel bag. I think it's mostly full of tents in there. We can pull that out of there. Let's see. Oh, no, let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is my map, 3500. Top, top. Uh, this is a really lightweight, small day pack from Pytech. I, I want to say it's a Flash 18. It's a copy of what RAI sells as a Flash 18. VanQuest uh, Javelin. Okay. This mostly has medical gear in it. Never really liked carrying it. Almost took out the camera. That was smart, right, buddy? Yeah. Right. Uh, another performance. Wait, do we see this place? Yeah. Performance messenger bag. Unless it flew very far off the pile. What's that? I said unless it flew very far off the pile. My wife's Jan Sport little messenger bag. Rush 24. Smart again. It was smart, right? I shouldn't pile stuff over there. This is uh, another map 3500. This belongs to who? Me. It belongs to clone number one. Uh, UTG tactical messenger bag. This is basically a jumbo clone. My Mobus, VanQuest Mobus. You know, whatever. Uh, Blackhawk battle bag. Again, this is a bag made to fight out of. Is that it? Did I get, I think I covered all of it. Chair. The chair, yeah, nobody wants to see that. All right, um, yeah, so th there's like a Timbuktu messenger bag the wife has at work. My, uh, my uh, OD jumbos in my truck. I couldn't find, I have uh, some helmet bags, they must be up in the attic somewhere. And that's it, that's a lot of bags. And who knows where that other, you know that other carrier, the other kitty carrier? I don't know where that is. I might have loaned that to somebody. Okay, even though I'm in my house and I'm starting to sweat because I'm wearing this beanie, it's because my hair was a mess. When is it not? What? When is it not? When is it not? You're, it's right. Uh, I'm take a sip of cold water out of my, it's still cold because this is what? Uh, insulated. Oh. All right, everybody. That's pretty much all my bags. I think I covered everything that was on that list by and large. So yeah, it's a retarded... Look at that. You can't even get to the door. Now, what if there was a fire? We'd have to Go out exit out that way. Yeah. Good thing there's two ways in and out. All right. Clean this shit up, and uh, I'm going to go make lunch. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.